Hey guys, my name's Rosie. Thanks so much for dropping by. This video is going to be a comparison of pocket planners. So let's get this video started. nine planners. I'm pretty sure they're nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different planners. One, two, three, four, five different companies. I had a lot of interest for me to do this video. So I thought I would finally gather up most of my pocket planners in this video and try to give like a comprehensive comparison of all of them. So I, like I said, I have numerous brands. I have Filofax, I have the Holborn, the Sienna, and the Malden. I also have Motrum planners, um, the Versa, and the regular Pocket. I also have a UE, I think that's how you call it, it that is also sold on AliExpress. So I have that here as well. And then I also have two Louis Vuitton agendas, PM size, and uh kind of like homemade brand uh it reminds me a lot of the chunky planner like the material that's used and this is from jp planner it's all the way over from russia but yeah those are most of um the pocket planners and the ones i'm going to be showing today because this one's in my hand i'll give you a brief overview of this one first so this one's from jp planner this was a custom made planner again the material is like a chunky planner that's the best way for me to describe it so if you've never had a chunky planner um, before with a 30 millimeter rings i don't really know how to describe it i think the closest in texture and squishiness would be this motrum planner but um yeah i'm unsure if this is leather it smells like leather but it could be wrong it could be vegan leather meaning it could be synthetic um kind of look like leather and i got this one in the croc it has a button snap and i requested 30 millimeter rings um the inserts, like if I were to put side tab dividers in, they would kind of stick out. So I decided to set it up with top loading dividers eventually. I've yet to set this up. Um, I asked for these configurations. I asked for four um, card slots and this bigger one here, there's like a felt lining to it so it doesn't scratch up your cards. Another pocket here, a pocket here and a zipper pocket. And this again is from, oh, and then another pocket here. So this was custom made. I asked for a pen loop and there's no elastic to it, but that's fine. And there's no big back pocket. So um, chunky planners tend to not have back pockets. Well, the original ones that I got before don't actually have a chunky pocket with me any longer. I sold it, but that is like the best type of uh, comparison that I could mention about this particular planner. I guess the next one that's closest to me is this Louis Vuitton planner. And uh, these are called the PM size, which is pocket ring size. And so what I did though, is I changed up the rings. So this Azure comes with 10 millimeter rings and they're, they're really tiny as you can see. And so I switched them to, I think this is 12 millimeter rings. So they're slightly bigger. They're Krause, they're from, um, Gilio, Gilio uses them. Oh, VDS as well. But you can see here that they are a tad bit bigger in ring size, so they can fit a lot more. So PM agendas, they all pretty much have the same configuration. Unless you have the koala, which is like a slip clap clasp, but they have three card pockets, a pocket here and a pocket here. And it's quite easy to change out the rings. I didn't do it myself. I had a friend, Tom, do it for me, but it seems pretty easy. You can probably look up, um, just search changing out PM agenda rings, and then you can watch a video on that. They're fairly easy to change out from what I saw. And this one's a 10 millimeter rings. This is pretty much the same kind of like ring mechanism that's used in this one here. So that is PM Agendas. The next I'm going to do is Moterm. And Moterm is a big company um, that emerged, I think, last year or even a couple years ago. Um, I think I first saw it on Amazon and they had 
were limited in colors and then they moved um, and then I saw that they're on AliExpress and this is their regular pocket. In the beginning, they weren't consistent with the color of the leather. So um, you can probably see through older models that the color changes depending on like what batch you got. So thankfully, these two batches were quite similar. Um, there was one like bubblegum pink that I really did not like um, in personal size that I saw, but I'm happy that I own one. I owned three actually. I had owned three. I sold the personal. They were all the same color, so I like that. So I will go through the regular pocket first. Um, Motrim kind of models their way, their planners kind of like um, Julio with the fly leaf and like the zip pocket and stuff. I don't unfortunately have a pocket Julio. I've never owned a pocket Julio before. I did own a Miyakara um, un in undyed leather uh, and had 16 millimeter rings, but I don't have that any longer. I'll go into that, the Miyakara. Uh, comparison later on when I pick up the Versa. So you have a zipper pocket here that holds change and another pocket here. You have comes with a fly leaf with three pockets, four pockets on the side here and another pocket, large pocket here. The pen loop is not elasticized so it can fit pretty much any size pen as long as you have uh, like this like clasp. Um, so that can fit in there and you get a large big pocket. So that's what the pocket Motrim looks like. And then this one is the Versa, po Versa pocket. And the Versa pocket is kind of, again, like Gilio's, um Miyakara, where you have the actual planner like this, but this where the inserts can slip out and can be a functioning planner just by itself. So the folio, you have this where you slip an A6 um, Stalogy in there or an A6 um, notebook. Let me go grab it. All right, I got my Stalogy out. So I'm just gonna test it. I've seen it, but I've never actually done it. So where you can slip the actual Stalogy in there. And some people like that. Some people, um, like to have Stalogy in there and then maybe carry. I've seen people actually use all of it at once. So let me just see how it fits. It's a tight fit in there, actually. I don't I don't like how that fits. It's just too tight. Um, but I mean, it does fit in there. It's just a very tight, I don't know how, how they do that. It's a very tight fit. But anyways, um, the A6 Stalogy fits in there and then the actual binder where the insert stick can slip out. So you have the regular 3123 three with this pocket here, an inner pocket there, and then no card slots. It's just like a back because it's supposed to slip in. There's no card slots here. There's card slots in the flyleaf though. So you can see here that the difference is um, like this. The ring mechanisms are 20 millimeter rings. So I'll show you, let's see here. So 20 millimeter rings. I know they have a Lux edition. I have no interest in getting Lux because I don't use Pocket Plus inserts. Um, so I'm not very sure what the configuration's like, but I know they can accommodate um, Pocket Size, uh, Pocket Plus inserts. So that's the Motrin Planner. The actual folio part, is that what it's called? I'm not sure has this um, pocket here and they changed their model again. So the model is kind of different from this one. This is the original one. And this one's more like the Miyakara Giglio. And a pocket here, two pockets here, and one, two, three, four, five card slots and a large big pocket. So that is my Moterm Versa. I'll set that aside here. And these both have, I think I, I said already, 20 millimeter rings. You can see that. And then here, you can get a bit better angle of the difference. So there. I will show you also the Louis Vuitton, how that compares. Let's see here. So you can see it's smaller. That's why I wouldn't advise to put anything more than 12 millimeter rings in the Louis Vuitton because then you'll get a lot of overhang. So even though it does fit pocket size insert, the tabs will stick out. 
So that's that. I'll show you here too. That's the difference. And if you are wondering, that's what that looks like. And if you're wanting even more, this is what it looks like. Okay, so, so we did the Moterm. So let's talk about my pink croc. So the pink croc I got used actually. I was able to snag this when she was selling it. It came with blue and I didn't get a chance to get it. I'm just still kicking myself for not, you know, buying the blue one. But anyways, this one is also from AliExpress. It's from, I think, Yui Stores. A lot of the planners on AliExpress kind of like are the same as the Moterm planners. So when you look at photos of other planner companies that are on AliExpress, they pretty much have the same configuration. Zipper pocket, the 20 millimeter rings, the three, uh, um, four card slots and a fly leaf. I have, I don't know where my fly leaf went. So this one had gold rings though, um, which is special. I like that. And a, also a big, large pocket. So this one's actually not um, available anymore, but I just wanted to show you guys like the other AliExpress planners that you see. I think there's like a beige croc one that I've seen. There are multiple other ones that are pocket size, A7 size, and the configuration is the same as Motrim. So um, I just wanted to compare and show you guys that too. So like I said, they're pretty much the same configurations. And then here's a better example of my uh, my Louis Vuitton and my other Louis Vuitton. I guess the next one is that to compare are my Filofaxes. So I will pull out, I'm not sure which one to use first. I'll pull out the Sienna. This is one's really hard to find. Um, I'm so lucky. I used to have it and then I sold it because I thought I wouldn't use it again and then I regretted it and then Oh, I had to buy it back again. But um, out of all my pocket planners, I mean, my Holborn is my newest one, but I don't know why. I don't know if I love it a lot because it's brand new or whatnot, but my Sienna is absolutely my favorite planner. The Sienna from Filofax. Um, the leather is, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's so soft and so buttery. Like the texture is just totally different that um, I'm just so lucky to have this both in personal and pocket. Anyways, aside from that, the configuration. So you have the front zip pocket in the front and some people think it's very awkward to have this. Oh, I have money in here, I didn't even notice. And um, for me, I didn't really mind it. I thought it looked cute with it. It's like a, it looks like a door, like it just looks cute. I really like this, um, this look. And so, the configurations are different. So file effects are not consistent with configurations, I find. Um, with the Louis Vuitton PM agendas, they all have like the same like pockets. With the Mo terms, they all have the same configurations. The Versa is different because um, I guess they're just playing around with um, the layout of things. So um, the original one is more likely like the Miyakara, like I mentioned. But with Filofaxes, the insides are always different. So this is the inside of the Sierra. This is the inside of a Filofax Malden. And then this is the inside of uh, Holborn. The ones I'm missing right now is the Filofax Croc. Um, I own that, but I sold it. Um, it kind of has the same similarity as the, if I were to pick one, it would be closest to the Moterm where I think I remember the card slots are in the back and the zipper pocket is in the front and I'm not sure if there's a pocket here. I have to remember that. And then there's also a large big back pocket for the croc. The reason why I sold it is that you have to really train it to lie flat. And so a big reason for me to sell a planner and not keep it is if they cannot lie flat. So the only reason why I didn't sell my Louis Vuittons is because I've actually sold them before. And that this is like my second time buying it so I don't mind it like eventually I know the canvas will lay flat just because of Louis Vuitton um I'll go in further more details I kind of just want to go over the configurations first but um I'll tell you the pros and cons of each one later so the configurations of the Sienna you have one two three three card pockets and a 
bigger back pocket here, a pen loop on both sides. So that's one other pro for the Sienna. You also have a back pocket here and a large big pocket over here. I'm like discovering all these goodies in these planners. I just didn't even know. And so it has a snap closure again. So that's the Sienna. The Filofax Malden though, yes, it does lay flat. And um, yes, the leather is so beautiful. And I just love that more like rustic feel. So like I've been training this to kind of look more like my personal planner. So I've just been like scrunching it up a lot more. Um, the leather is amazing. But the only problem is, is that cards do, do not fit properly in there. If they had the same pocket configuration of the whole barn, this would definitely be like my favorite pocket ring planner. So I'm just going to take out like a card and I'm going to show you what I mean. So here's what a card looks like. And you can see here, these slots are not made for cards and it enrages me. It's like, why would you have it? I mean, you could have it like this and have like two or three, but it's just aesthetically, it does not look good. And I don't like that look. So this is why it's a con when it comes to being a wallet planner. But anyways, you have a zipper pocket here, and I didn't even know these were here. Um, one, two, three pockets here on the left. One that fits kind of like an iPhone. So I have a pop socket. This is my work phone. It can sit in there. And then a pocket here and a back pocket. So yeah, those are the configurations of the Malden. The planner that I'm in now is the Holborn. And again, like um, like I said, this is probably my favorite planner right now. It has my whole lifeline in here. It's my wallet and where I keep my important notes and contacts. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. So these rings are 12, 20 millimeter rings. Some people say they're 19 millimeter, but I'm not sure. I found that like the Malden must be 19 and the Sienna a 20. I feel like it could always fit more in the Sienna, but who knows? Like it could just be me. So that is what the pockets look like. And they all have the same pocket ring size. So 20 millimeters, you can see here. And um, let me see that. How am I going to kind of put it against it. So this is what they all look like together. And so they're roughly pretty much the same size. The Moterm, the Sienna, and the Malden. And then this is what it looks like with the Louis Vuitton. And the other Moterm. Maybe I should show you guys my MJ planner as well. I haven't been really showing you guys. So that's what the 30 millimeter looks like with the rings. So you have a chunky pocket with 30 millimeters. That's the difference. Okay, let's get into the whole board. The whole board, like I said, is seriously my favorite. Let me just slip this gift card back here before I forget. This Filofax actually has 16 millimeter rings. So you can see here, not as small as these 12, but big enough for me to house everything. So this is what it all looks like. The configurations of the Holborn, if you haven't watched my unboxing, you have three card slots and one bigger one here. This is where I keep my driver's license. A pocket here for cards and another pocket here for cards as well, I guess. And then you have a back pocket here with a hidden coin section here. And more place for cards. And a large big back pocket. So that's what the whole burn looks like. So I will go over pros and cons of each one. So let's start with the JP Planner. JP Planner, I specifically asked for 30 millimeter rings, but I didn't know that they couldn't accommodate side tabs. Um, 30 millimeter rings, they look gorgeous when it's chunky. I think that's a thing. For me, with 30 millimeter rings, 
if it's not fully decked out it just looks too bare and the ring is just kind of like massive compared to like the inserts that's just me but 30 millimeter rings i don't think i'll ever use 30 millimeter rings in pocket again but i do kind of want to use this eventually i'm not ready for it to let go another con is that there's no large back pocket so if you know if you i knew that i didn't want a big back pocket with um because i remember i used to have chunky ones and i didn't have back pocket which is fine so that might be a con for you guys another con is that um I don't know. There's no other cons. I like this planner. <laughs> I don't really have that many cons. I mean, it's white, so it can get dirty easily. But because I feel like this is synthetic leather, I think it would be easy to clean anyways. It's not like normal leather. So that's pretty much um, what I have to say about this one. I think the next ones I did, I think I did um, Motrum planners. All right. So the con is, is that the leather, yes, it is beautiful, but I always would prefer like a VDS. And if I had more money, a Gilio. Um, only because of the leather quality. Other than that, the price point is quite awesome. It can fit a lot of inserts. I think if you're going to go for the Pocket Versa, just know it's quite big comparison to the Pocket. I mean, not that big like that much bigger but it's definitely like a weight difference and you can see here that it's bigger so that's one con it's not a very good go-to planner i mean if you're used to carrying an a6 or an a6 stalogy or hobonichi yeah like you're probably just gonna be like oh it's not that bad to carry around but for me as a wallet it's just not um as a everyday carry it's just too big for me Another thing is, is that the newer models, I'm just not familiar with, so I can't really speak to it. Um, other than that, I don't really have any issues, no cons with it. The rings are nice. The packaging is always nice. Same with JP Planner. I did an unboxing of this in my previous videos. They were, she's pretty awesome to work with off, off Instagram, even though it's kind of sketchy sometimes to buy it like that. Not like a traditional Etsy store, but she's super sweet and super kind and accommodating. So I totally recommend her shop. Moterm, I totally recommend it as well. The shipping um, length of time can be an issue. Uh, it's coming from China though, you guys. Like it's not like it's in the continent. Like it's not in the States or Canada, let alone South America. It's like traveling overseas literally. So um, the wait time can be quite long. I know you can ask for like, you can pay for faster shipping or if you buy off Amazon, it might be even faster. I, I've bought these from AliExpress. So I've never purchased from um, Amazon before when it comes to the um pocket planners or the motion planners but yeah no cons um but yeah i love this i love this planner uh that's all i have to say with motrum the other ue planner the, and the other shops i can't say for all the shops on aliexpress but um you know experimenting with different planner shops on aliexpress i'm totally for it um again the configurations more closely like the motrum planner it's kind of like basic or when you're buying off AliExpress. Again, no complaints. Um, some people were annoyed that the outside wasn't leather, but I mean, it's like a shiny croc, so I highly doubt um, it was gonna be leather anyways when I was looking at it. But the inside's definitely leather. I have no complaints about this. If you have any worries about purchasing a planner from AliExpress that isn't from Motarm, you can definitely DM or like message the, the store and ask them for real photos. And um, I mean, there's always a time difference there, so they can't, like answer back as soon as possible, but, but they're pretty good with answering and showing you photos and telling you about the planner. So I recommend like UE planner in particular, um, the UE store is really awesome. And Louis Vuitton's, um, some downsides, the pocket ring, like the ring mechanisms are quite small. The price point is quite a lot. Um, you're pretty much not paying for only the quality, but you're paying for the name, like the name, like Louis Vuitton. Other pro though, is that you can just change out the rings and make it bigger into 12 millimeter rings to make it a bit bigger. Um, one thing about Louis Vuitton canvas planners, just in general, it's not only the PM agenda, is that it curls. And so that is one indication that it's real. See how these corners curl? Every planner, every Louis Vuitton planner, it's going to curl eventually. It's just like that. 
Um, another thing is that the button class gets kind of worn out. But again, you the thing is, is when you buy Louis Vuitton, their name is plastered all over it. And as long as it's authentic, you just go to the store, you can get these um, replaced, you can get the rings replaced, you can get it hot stamped, you can get stuff done um, to manage the upkeep. I'm not sure what they would say about the if you change out the rings, like if they would even touch it because you modified it. But if it has the same things that came with it, you can definitely um, go get it uh, fixed, reglazed and everything. So that is a pro for the Louis Vuitton. But yeah, other than that, I don't have any complaints about it. Um, you can tell here that this, the newer Louis Vuittons have a more squishier feel. I don't know how to explain it compared to like the older models. Um, but that doesn't really bother me. Like whatever, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, right? So yeah, that is Louis Vuitton overview of the PM agenda. The next, the Filofax, um, a con for the Sienna, other than it's really hard to find, is the leather can be delicate. I mean, it's not as durable as the Malden. Like, it's not as bad as the undyed, like, pocket planners from the Gilio, the Epoca leather undyed. It's not as bad as that, but it's definitely scary to take this out because it's so smooth and it doesn't scratch that easily. But let me see here. Yeah, it does. It does scratch a bit easy, but it still looks beautiful. I'm still kind of nervous when I take it out. I probably only use it when I go on vacation. I need like a planner and a wallet all together. That is a pro. Um, I mean, that is a con. Other than that, it's gorgeous. I love how it has gold rings. It's different. Uh, the rings are pretty awesome. Filofax is Filofax. Like the quality of Filofax is amazing. The leather, the rings, the mechanisms. I have no complaints over Filofax. Uh, the Malden, the con for the Malden is the card slots. But other than that, like the leather is superb. If this had 60 millimeter rings and had proper card pockets, this one wouldn't be my favorite uh, to use as a wallet, but it doesn't. So that's why it's not being used right now. So yeah, that is a Filofax Malden. And then last but not least, um, my Holborn, my baby right now. And I don't have any regrets. This thing is beautiful. I think 60 millimeter rings is like my happy place when it comes to my wallet planners or my pocket wallet planners. Um, but yeah, this is nice and light, compact. Um, I feel like because it only has 16 millimeter rings, it is heavier than a Louis Vuitton, but it's not as heavy as a Malden. So already, like, I don't know what it is, like maybe the leather, the quality of leather, it's a bit heavier. Or maybe like the rings, it's like the added five or four millimeters of extra ring um, makes a difference. But yeah, that is a con. But other than that, I think that co pretty much covers my pocket planner collection, you guys. Um, here is a better like comparison. I don't know how to do this. Maybe I'll do it like this. Here's a better comparison of them all. I don't know where to put this one. I think I'm going to put this one here so you can better see it. And this one here so you can see it in there. I think I have it. So that's all the rec ring mechanisms all together. You can see here. But yeah, I really hope that helped you guys decide what pocket planner is perfect for you. I'm sorry that's so fast. I just wanted to say a lot of stuff. Hopefully that helps. The only ones that I'm missing now that I'm looking at it is the 20 millimeter um, VDS pocket planners as well as the Julio pocket planners. And I know the Julio comes with like an extra large, like I think the extra large is 20 millimeter and the regular um, is 16, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure. But um, that is my pocket planner collection, you guys. I hope that really helped. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and think about hitting the subscribe button. But yeah, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Bye.